Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really pretty romantic sort of smoky eye with a little pop of color in the waterline and a bold lip. I love doing this look when I'm going out on a date. It's just so easy to throw together and I feel like it looks good with every outfit that I put on. So this is definitely my go-to for a date night. Normally, however, I do not put um, a pop of color in my waterline. I usually stick with um, a neutral but I love the way that this green looks, so I'm glad that I went ahead and did that. So, per usual, all the products that I use will be listed down below for you, so you can check those out if you are curious. So, without further ado, let's just jump into this look. So for this entire look, I did use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and this first shade that I'm taking is the color Tempra, and this is just a very pretty creamy highlight shade that happens to match my skin color, so I just put that all over my lid and brought that up to the brow bone as well. Then I went in with the shade Warm Taupe, and I did this because my original thought process was to do a halo eye. So I wanted to make sure that I went in with a lighter brown before a darker brown, just in case I messed up, um, it wouldn't look as noticeable, and this was also a great way for me to outline where I did want my darker colors. And you'll see that I did bring that into the crease just ever so slightly, just to make sure that we could have everything blended in the end. So after taking Warm Taupe, I went in with Antique Bronze, and this is a very pretty, almost rosy chocolate color. I love it, and I was really going for, you know, that chocolate-covered strawberry sort of look. That's what I had in my head, but um, you'll see in the end, it, it didn't really turn out like that, but that's okay. But I still love this color, and I did the same thing here that I did with Warm Taupe. I brought that in the corners and then blended it into my crease as well. Then I just took a little bit more of that antique bronze and decided to pop that in my crease just to give myself more of a smoky look and to make sure that, again, everything would blend out nicely in the end. Can I just say that that little stray brow hair is driving me nuts while I'm watching this video over again? I wish I would have seen that earlier. But anyway, so now I'm going in with the color Cypress Umber, and this is the darkest brown shade in the palette. It's just a beautiful chocolate color that I knew that I wanted to have on my lid for a little bit of extra definition. Now you'll see the pink and red part come in. I am using Venetian Red on the center of my lid, and then also topping that with a little bit of Love Letter to create that sort of strawberry look that I was going for. And you will see that I do end up bringing that up into the crease just ever so slightly to just blend everything together and once again make everything look very, very seamless and flawless in the end. Now I'm just taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow or excuse me, this eyeshadow brush that actually came in the palette that I am obsessed with. It's so, so nice, it's so fluffy, and it blends everything together so well. Now I'm packing on some Champagne Pop, which is actually a highlighter by Becca Cosmetics, but I did really want some gold on here, and I just thought that this was gonna be perfect for that. So you'll see I just pop that mostly in the center of my lid and then I'm actually going back over those corners with a little bit of antique bronze. And again, blending everything together so that it looks cohesive. And now I am actually taking the shade Primavera from my palette, which is also a gold color. It's very, very, very similar to Champagne Pop, and I thought that it would just look nice and pretty and give me that extra bit of pop that I was looking for. Okay. 
All right, next up, I'm gonna go ahead in with my ColourPop liner in the shade Best O. And this is really pretty. It's a great plum color, and I love using this shade when I can because it makes my eyes look so green. I also went in on the waterline and put in a little bit of ColourPop's Zulu, which is a really pretty seafoam green color. And then I went back in with Tempera to highlight my brow bone in my inner corner. Then of course, curling lashes, adding a little bit of mascara. And I wasn't able to, well, I did film it, but I was pretty much out of the shot the entire time. I smoked out my lower waterline, but I did go ahead and do that as well. And that little bit of mascara that's getting on my lid, don't worry, I took care of that. It is no longer there. Okay guys, I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is the look that I've come up for you. Originally I was going for more of like a chocolate, strawberry, gold sort of look, but it kind of turned into this, but I still really like it. I think it's really pretty. I love the pop of gold on the lid and I am obsessed with the green in my waterline. I'm so happy I did that. It just makes it look a little bit more um, unique, I guess, and I really like that. So this is the final result for my date night look. This is always something that I wear when I go out on a date with my boyfriend. Um, I mean, he doesn't care if I wear makeup or not, but, you know, I care, and, you know, sometimes I want to go out and look a little more put together than usual, so this is usually the look that I go for. Um, I like the bold lip, and I love just, um, a really pretty brown red, smoky, pretty, I, I don't really even know what to call this, but I always make sure that my lashes are big and there's a lot of focus on my lips as well. So this is what I've come up for you. And don't worry, I will list everything that I use down below for you. And yeah, that's it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you are here. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And you can also hit that subscribe button if you'd like. So I will just see you in my next video. Bye guys.